Hi, I'm Clowny Quinn, and today I want to talk about the movie Big Top Evil. Or, if you heard the end credits song, Big Top Evil. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these crazy circus and clown movies, but the songs at the end credits always kind of end up being hilarious and also terrible and usually about the movie. <laughs> I don't know, and they just, they never fail to make me laugh. So this movie, I found out about this movie actually not too long ago. Um, I was on the Tweety Box and I saw that there was going to be another Bill Mosley clown movie and I was like, what? Because, you know, he's got the Three from Hell coming out and the, um, <clears throat> Crepitus had come out. So I was just like, another Bill Mosley clown movie? That's amazing! And then I was... Um, peeping on my friend uh, Pipsy Pinwheel. She was in my review talking about the Puddles Pity Party show back in March, which was awesome. And uh, she was saying that she was also in this movie called Big Top Evil. And I was like, what? Bill Mosley and Pipsy Pinwheel? Two people that I love so much in the same movie? Yes, please. <laughs> and uh, so <clears throat> it's available on Amazon Prime and other streaming stuff right now, and um, I had messaged her about it, and I was like, hey, you're in this movie? I really wish we could watch it together. She hadn't seen it yet, so she wasn't sure, but I talked to her about it, and she said it was really cool. She was actually only there like one of the days because they needed um, some fire breathers and other kind of circusy freak show kind of thing, and yeah, so she was there for like a day. She got to hang out with Bill Mosley. They shared a pizza, and I was like, that's really fucking cool. Bill Mosley's awesome. I've met him at Spooky Empire multiple, multiple times. He's a really great guy. Bill's a great guy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta say, like, that's the most interesting part about this movie, <laughs> was that my friend was in it. <laughs> um, okay, um, no, that was also something else interesting. It was filmed in Sarasota, Florida, which is, you know, big deal, circus circus world, <laughs> circus town, and uh, apparently they had um, called for like local talent, so there were like some contortionists and jugglers and other like clown people that were involved, and they are in this movie, it's just I kind of wish they were in this movie a lot more, because the people that get the spotlight in this movie, ugh, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna go straight in and talk about it. So, <clears throat> the movie starts where this guy's in jail and he's like, at least I'm protected here. And so it's a flashback and he, it's him telling his story about this terrible tragedy that happened. And he's like going to be on death row and he doesn't want to be on death row. So he's trying to tell his story. So him and a few of his friends, which are just terrible people. I don't know why any of these people are friends. Like they're just a bunch of jerks. Um, it's a few girls, a few guys. One guy that's really special, I guess. I don't really know what his deal was, but he's just like, oh my god, oh my god, look at this candy, I'm a virgin, oh my god, like it was just, he was all over the place, and like just, blah, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so they're traveling, they're wanting to go see some kind of like murder destination, and I'm just like, are we trying to make this house of a thousand corpses? I mean, Bill was in that, but anyway, um, <laughs> so they're traveling, and they're like checking out this one area, and then they come upon this hillbilly guy who's like pretending to shoot them and he's like oh, I'm just kidding you shouldn't go into the woods it's dangerous in there and the guy who plays that hillbilly guy is this actor named Jay LaRose who I have also met many times he's a really great guy um he's also he's in a lot of movies he's in like I knew him uh knew of him first from Repo the Genic Opera, he's also like in Saw 2, he's in this other um show that I'm watching right now called The Righteous Gemstones which is a really ridiculous show that's a Danny McBride show, but it, he's just in a lot of weird movies and I didn't realize he was in this, so I, when I saw him I was just like, what? Jay's in this too? This is bananas. So anyway, they, he tells he's like, don't go into the woods, it's dangerous in there. And so then they come, they, you know, they're back on the road and they come upon this girl in a bad blonde wig <laughs> who has a very happy chipper voice, very similar to Baby from House of a Thousand Corpses. And she's like, really hitting on the like virgin spaz guy and he's like you know I had a dream once that it was my wedding night and I was in a tuxedo and the woman that I was gonna be my wife chopped me up with a chainsaw and she's all like 
I can make dreams come true. <laughs> and then she tells them that her family has a circus and that they should, um, there's also a hotel nearby and she can, they can stay near, near her. And so the people go and they do, and like nobody else has any personality, so I just, I have no other, there's two guys that play guitar and like they play, they break out their acoustics and they're just like strumming and singing and, and I'm just like, what is happening? Is this a music video? I don't understand. Um, and so it turns out, uh, Bill Mosley is eventually in the movie. He is not in this movie enough. <laughs> like, goodness gracious, because, you know, once you're just like, oh my god, what, look at my wrist. This movie needs to, it just needs to be over. But, like, every time Bill Mosley's on screen, he's great. And uh, it's a little confusing, actually, because it seems like he's the boss of the circus, freak show, whatever. But then, like, he's not. He's trying to get some of the other people to join his thing. And then there's a whole other plot line of these, like, murderers that are not the cannibal clown family. But they're, like, just killing people and robbing people. And, like, they have a moment where they're robbing this one guy. And he just, like, punches one of the guys. And the guy's bleeding. He's like, why'd you hit me, man? And I'm like, wait, what? What? <laughs> so they start killing people and, um... It's, it's just really crazy. And, like, the camera the whole time is, like, very... Ugh. So you might get a little motion sickness. I'm just warning you now. They did not understand what a steady cam is, apparently. it was But it was very... It was disorienting and not, like, in the fun way. <laughs> At least for me, that's how I felt about it. Um, so they're getting all killed off, and then it ends up being what I... Would, there ends up being, like, a, an eight-foot-tall clown creature in a sewer... And then uh, it switches back to the the guy in the prison talking to the this the lady, and she's like, "Wait, what? Are you sure you weren't like stoned?" And he was like, "No, I promise. This actually happened." She's like, "Okay." And uh, there in, ends up being like this one this uh, one of the guys, one of the girls, who's wearing a plaid shirt, and they're like running trying to get away. But then there's another guy and a girl in a plaid shirt, and somewhere in my mind, I got them mixed up and thought they were the same couple. And then they were t like, they, and they showed up together, and I was like, "What?" And then I remembered, "Oh yeah, these are two, these are four different people." But it's because they don't have any character. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, um, I will say that something that was kind of fun and unique about this movie is that there ends up being like a whole bunch of like just a horde of clowns coming after them. And what was kind of fun to me is that like they weren't just like grungy, you know. Like, ooh, I'm wearing a clown mask. It was like some of those, and then it was like cute, weird clowns, like, like clowns like me that were cute and had like, it looked like they just pulled their costume out of the spirit at the Halloween store <laughs> and they threw it on. And then one of them, like some of them had really intricate makeup that I really liked. And, uh, and some of them were just like really dirty, grungy, bleh, like we got piercings everywhere. Look at us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So then it like just kind of ends and then the guy in the prison is like, yeah, well, they took us, they captured me and the girl because it ends up only being one girl in the plaid shirt and one guy. And then he's like, then they, they, um, they put us in like a dungeon and then they put us, uh, <laughs> they tied us up and then they chopped her into pieces and now I'm in jail because they think I did it. Ta-da! <laughs> and then, then the end of the movie was the girl the, that's impersonating Baby from House of a Thousand Corpses has like a really crappy black eye on her face and she runs across this car and she's like, my boyfriend hit me, please help me! And they were like, yeah, we'll help you! And then it like, you know, ends like, it's gonna start all over again. And that was Big Top Evil! <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the world? Um, you know, I liked a few things about it, but it was it was just a big mess. <laughs> if you check it out, let me know what you thought in the comments. I would love to hear it. <laughs> and uh, if anything, you get to see my buddy, my buddy Pipsy Pinwheel in a movie. That's exciting. And uh, all right, guys, see you next time. Bye.